cushion, let's have a quick overview of this tool. So in here, you will find the first menu bar, and in here you'll find the customizer, you'll also find the toolbar, and you will find some video tutorials and the favorites bar, which if you favorite any of the animations, you will find them right over here. So let's and in here you will also find a search bar where you can can search for animation. For instance, if I search for let's say position, you will start finding the things related, the animations related to position. So this is very handy if you need something specific, like for instance a wiggle. So as you can see in here, you will immediately find all the things related to the wiggle animation. This will come even more handy when you start knowing what you want like to use and start identifying the animations, since you can simply type in your animation, for instance, pencil in this case, and you will find the animation related to that. Great. If you'd like to favorite and a specific animation, simply click on this icon, add to favorite, and that animation will be favorited. So now if I go to favorites, you will find that animation over there. You can then untick this to remove it. Great. So uh, in here on the left hand side, you will find all your animations and the first folder that you will find is the in and out animations. So you can open that from right over here and right next to it you will find the number of animations that you have in here. Now this is important to say that in here you can see that there are 706 animations. These actually in them contain double the amount of the presets. So they actually have around 1400 presets in here since you have for each animation you have two presets. So you have the in preset and the out presets for each animation. So in here you will find all the animations related to in and out. Some of them are under different folders as you can see. And some of them you can access right away from here. When you click on a specific folder, the, the, their expression, their presets will show up right over here. Perfect. Now we can also zoom in here or uh, decrease that. So simply click these buttons to, to expand them, etc. You can even lock the view to have it auto resizing for you. Great. So let's make them to two columns in here. And then here you will find the middle animations. So, and all the animations related to there, to that. So that's basically it. Now let's jump to the next video where we can start using these animations.